I can't believe this is happening. I swear to you guys that every obstacle that could have possibly been put in my way to stop me from coming to you tonight has happened. What's up, everybody? It's Grim, your YouTube Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Champion. It's salty season, for fuck's sake! Oh my god, what a day I've had. First of all, went to the wrestling ring to record some wrestling matches, and my wallet got stolen. And I'm like, well, who the fuck stole my wallet? What cringe master is stupid enough to steal from me, motherfuckers? Somebody who was smart enough to realize they done fucked up and miraculously my wallet reappeared prick face. So that crisis was averted. Then I was supposed to have a friend come over and vlog with me. And why was I gonna have a friend come over and vlog with me? Because my wife is sick as a dog. She's been throwing up, sore throat, sick, what have you. Cause today we were supposed to do the video about who won the bet from the pay-per-view predictions? It was a tie. Me and Heel Wife tied. If I lost, I was going to have to wear a diaper. If she lost, she was going to have to wrestle me in the wrestling ring. So it's a tie. And she's like, well, good. We don't have to do anything. Bullshit! I always deliver for my audience. And I said, I'm going to wrestle in a diaper versus you in the wrestling ring. Diaper Grim versus Heel Wife wrestling ring. Bing, bong, boom, let's go. But guess what? She wakes up this morning, sick as a dog. Wait a minute. Mind blown. Maybe she's faking it. No, she's not, because she legit has a fever. Went to the doctor and all that horse shit. So, I know she's not faking that. So, that will be delayed a bit, but it's got to happen. It's got to happen. I'm not going to let her worm her way out of this one. So, then I'm like, okay, my friend's going to come over and vlog with me. He's going to bring this game over, and we're going to play it, and it's going to be fun shit, right? Yeah, okay, awesome. I'll start watching Raw. I'm watching Raw. Hey, man, when you coming out? Oh, I'll be there soon. Okay, awesome. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. 30 minutes later. Where the fuck are you? Oh, I'm just getting on the parkway now. Okay, cool. When you fuck going to be here? Oh, I'll be there in five minutes. And if I'm not there in five minutes, read this text again. Oh, okay, ha, 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 you're so funny, but I can't wait for you to be here so we can make this vlog. Getting on 1030? Dude, are you even coming? Oh, yeah, I'll be there in two minutes. Okay, you fucking said that an hour and a half. Are you really not just not coming? Oh, hey, dude, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make it. <gasps> Fuck you! Why would you... What the fuck? You couldn't have told me three or four hours ago that your ass wasn't going to come? I could have called Alex. I could have called the Ninja Twins. I could have went over attack. For fuck's sake, I could have done something else. Guess what asshole's never going to appear in my video ever again? That asshole. Fuck him. People are pissed. So then... What did my miraculous eyes appear? But, ta-da! I didn't even see this. We've been getting a lot of packages to the house every day because, you know, ordering Christmas presents for the family and, 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 you know, four or five packages a day are coming, but this one snuck in with the packages. And because Super Saltosaurus Rex, my life, did not notice that it was from ringsidecollectibles.com. On the fifth day of Christmas, Grim gave to himself another package of wrestling figures from wrestlingfigures.com. Discount code Grim at checkout saves 10%. <laughs> so, this is the vlog that comes to you tonight. Oh, wait, well, I have to tell you. Against all odds. So I watch Raw. And I'm mad as fuck at my friend as I'm texting him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck yourself. Don't ever talk to me again. Kiss my ass. Lick my balls. Eat my shit. And die. Drink bleach, you prick. As I'm tur as I'm cursing this guy off because I'm so mad. By the way, it wasn't anybody that you would know. He's not on the show. It was going to be a new friend that we were going to introduce. It was going to be fun. One of the... Who cares? Anyway. As I'm cursing him off, I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll just go in the room and I'll unbox this package here. And Super Salty will never know because she's sick. She won't be paying attention, right? I walk in here, turn on the light, blown a fuse. And I have Christmas presents stacked up in front of the door where the fucking fuse box is. So now I gotta move all the goddamn Christmas presents. Finally get in there, turn on the fucking fuse. And then the bulb is broke. I swear to you, 
God did not want me to upload tonight. He's just like, no, -uh, not going to happen. You know, this might still not make it up because maybe the Wi-Fi is going to go out. Maybe YouTube won't process. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? But now I don't have a bulb. Well, where the fuck's Fat Man going to find a bulb at 1130 at night? Well, now I have to sneak around the house Mission Impossible style because we don't want to wake the dragon. I don't want to wake up the kids that are trying to sleep for school tomorrow. And I gotta find a bulb. So I find a bulb. I find a 200 watt old school light bulb that's practically as bright as the sun in here. I don't even need my little review lights. This fucking thing is like, no. The sun is here, so the lighting might be fucked up on the video. Whatever. Let's look at the wrestling figures. We're going to talk about Raw here, too, for a second, because... Poor shit. Bailey beats Fartlet. Bailey beats Fartlet after Sasha Banks and Charlotte tear down the house the night before a paper screw. Bailey's just like, uh-uh, roll up, one, two, three. Backslide, bitch. That's what she did. It wasn't a fruit roll up. Backslide, bitch, one, two, three. Braun Strowman threw in Sin Cara off the stage through those solid steel presents. That solid steel tree. God damn it. Good God almighty. What the fuck? She? I don't know. And then we had Enzo Amore had to go to sensitivity training for appearing naked. Uh, what? And then, of course, he just gets his ass jumped by Rusev. <laughs> Funniest part of that segment. What's your name? Jinder Mahal. How do you spell Jinder Mahal? Enzo jumps up. S-A-W-F-T soft! <laughs> that was good. Main event! Well, let's not talk about the main event. Let's first talk about the New Day! Because we got New Day! Pop vinyls! Yes, we do! And this was important. The New Day pop vinyls. And I'll tell you why. Because the New Day, they're starting on their trek back to the tag team titles. They're like, hey, look, you know, Ric Flair... Couldn't have been a 16-time champ without losing 15 times. You're damn right. That's okay. So what? So they lost the belts. No big deal. We got New Day Pop Vinyls from WrestlingFigures.com. Discount code Grim at checkout. Save 10%. But Cesaro and Sheamus now have brand new tag titles. They got rid of the penny belts. Penny for your thought. <laughs> rocking, rocking, and rolling. Now they look like the friggin' nickel belts from SmackDown. Red strap style. So, for fuck's sake, how soon until we are going to see the WWE Championship on SmackDown with a blue strap? You know it's coming, right? Of course you do. What else happened on Raw? Who knows? We got Brian Pillman. Look at this figure. Flying fucking Brian Pillman. This was awesome. This was even back before he became Brian F. and Pillman, psychotic son of a bitch. This figure is awesome. And it comes in the figure defender. So heel wife can't fuck them up when they open them out of the box. And then we got Gold Dust. This is classic Gold Dust. Back when Gold Dust was trying to seduce Razor Ramon. Who remembers that? I do, because I'm old as fuck. That was a friggin' great-ass angle. Here we got the Gold Dust right here. Yeah. <laughs> I love this figure. Oh, man, this is... Oh my god, cloth robe? Cloth robe? They didn't give us one of those rubber bullshit robes? Oh, Ebenezer's gonna be so excited for that. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. <laughs> we got Kane. Full cringe fruit roll up face mask. Mask in a case. Why is the mask in its own figure defender fucker? Huh? We want to know. <laughs> okay, let's get back to Raw for a second because the main event of Raw featured Rollins. And Roman Reigns versus Jericho and Kevin Owens. At the beginning of Raw, they said that because of Jericho interfered and it being a troll and him helping Kevin Owens, that they're going to put... Mick Foley's going to do this. They're going to put Jericho in the cringe cage. You know the cringe cage, crash cage? And they're going to dangle Jericho from the ceiling in a cage... So it actually is a cunt in a cage match because Jericho's cunt. Um, he's going to be dangling in the cage above the ring at the Royal Rumble when Roman Reigns gets his rematch versus Kevin Owens for the United States, the Universal Championship, Grim, Botch, City, Zinkara. The Universal Championship. So, of course, that sets up tag team match player for the end of the show. And the match doesn't end. Because Braun Strowman is so mad that he couldn't beat Sami Zayn. So now Braun Strowman comes out and kicks the crap out of Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. 
that was the end of Raw. Meanwhile, my name is Connor, and I'm here to pump you up. <laughs> it's Connor from the Ascension with his fruity face mask and his metrosexual Legion of Doom outfit. <laughs> and then we got, not to be outdone by Kana, we've got, my name is Victor, and I'm here to pump you up. It's Kana and Victor of the Ascension. We are the metrosexual Legion of Doom. Metrosexual road warriors, yeah. And then we got, the most electrifying man in all of entertainment. Young, rising YouTube sensation, cause fuck you, Grim. He's a YouTuber. He has a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, that makes him a YouTuber. Fuck the fact that he's been famous for 20 years and he's the most highest paid movie star on the goddamn planet because he made a YouTube channel. He's a YouTuber. And according to everyone, I'm wrong. Because I said, no, The Rock is not a YouTuber. The Rock is a movie star who has a YouTube channel. The Rock hires people to film him. The Rock hires people to edit his videos. The Rock hires people to upload his videos. Meanwhile, this fat fuck right here doesn't know by myself. I'm a YouTuber. He's a movie star. That's the difference. Fuck you, Grim, and subscribe. The Rock is a YouTuber who has a channel. It's called The Rock. For fuck's sake. It's salty season. I done told you I'm salty as a pretzel tonight. And I hope you enjoyed my epic rage unboxing. And please like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. And I hope you all have a very wonderful, very wonderful day. Night. Middle of the night. Grim out.